never getting off track oh! Oh! I promise you there's some nuggets in here. Ooh. Yo, what is good? What is today? I don't even know what day it is. Monday. Jesus. Is it? I'm not even positive, bro. Ah, oh, we've been waiting on this Storm Dorian. forever, dude. He's taking his freaking time. I don't know what's happening. It's It's been slow. It's been great, but it's also got me kind of loopy. I don't know what I'm doing. It's fun. I'm making the most out of it, getting my computer organized, making new videos. That's what I want to talk about today. Uh, what's good? Happy morning. Today was a beautiful sun shower. Check my Twitter. I posted things on Twitter. I post everywhere, bro. Search my name. Find me everywhere. It was a sun shower, like a legit one. It was like the sun was out. You could see the strong sun and then it was also raining. It was wild. It was beautiful. I sat there. I was like, you know what? This is, I got to capture these pictures. I took pictures yesterday. I'm like, ah, I don't want to like get up and do it. I'm like, why not? What if this moment passes and I never get another sun shower so beautiful? And so, you know what? I had to take it as it is. And I went out there and I snapped some photos. Will I post them on the podcast, the video podcast like I did yesterday? Probably. So if, they, if so, here they are. Boom, 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 boom. Pictures. I'll do it slower. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So it was really nice. The trees are amazing. Also a little sad because I'm walking around thinking about Storm Dorian. And I hope he doesn't destroy all the trees because they're just so big. They look like they've been there for friggin' hundreds of years and they might get destroyed. So that's kind of sad, but I don't, I don't know what's, I don't know. Trees are so beautiful. I want to do that more often. I was just walking around with my camera in the nature, listening to the animals and the trees. I love that. So that's kind of like when I do those things and how much I love it is like, it reminds me that that's what I want my life to be. So I'm constantly thinking about how I want my perfect life to be. And part of it is waking up with nature, whether it's on the ocean or with some trees. I don't know. Maybe I want a little bit of both. The ocean would be amazing, but I just love the trees because they're kind of like moving and there's animals running around them. It's awesome. I don't know. I'm learning that now, but it was great. Had a nice, beautiful morning. Now I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, a little all over the place because I, I was supposed to be leaving to evacuate. And then all of a sudden it's like taken forever. So I don't want to like leave and like have not, not enough clothes. I don't know. It's weird, but everything's going well. What else am I doing? The video I wanted to talk about, which I mentioned in the beginning is the video I'm making is how I went from 30 to 40 inch vertical. I try, I made it all last night. It's a lot of work. I'm trying to make it fun to watch. And so that's going to come out tonight, probably, probably around the afternoon. So look for that in the afternoon, hit that bell icon. If you hit the bell icon while watching this podcast, you will feel, feel a jolt down your central nervous system. If you do it, I promise you watch. If you do it and you feel it, boom, it'll, you'll feel like a little shock. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. That's just, you're leveling up, you're leveling up and you have, you have a new frequency you can access. That's all you got to do is hit the notification bell after you subscribe. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Try that out. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that video. As you know, if you know me, um, it's not going to be the most detailed. It's going to be all over the place. My experience, what I take away from it. My, my journey from 30 to 40 was pretty standard. It was a lot of just jumping, but I go into detail why I switched plants, all those questions. And that's where it's going to be. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Other than that, reading this friggin' book, understanding the psychology of romantic love, because when I talk about life and all these different things, it's enjoy more, but love is up there is like the, probably the number one emotion. If you ever been in love, feel love, it's the best thing ever. So it's really interesting about this book to understand what it's happening. And it's talking how it's separate from, uh, like your thoughts and your conscious thoughts. It's more in your subconscious, that feeling of love we all want. Um, to feel love and it makes us feel whole. And sometimes with a person, you fall in love with loving them, but you're not falling in love with that person. You just love the love frequency you're on. Does that make sense? I've definitely had that in my life and it's very interesting. It's like you, you know, you can love each other, but it's like this, per it's, I don't know, it's really weird, but it's a really interesting book. I'm, it's on my website if you want to check it out. Um, I don't know why I brought that up, but that's just what I'm, I read every night. Very uh, awareness building. And the last thing I wanted to bring up before, I don't know what today's about. This is, this is how I'm feeling. I'm all over the place, feeling great. I want, I'm supposed to do my first ever open mic Wednesday, but the storm's supposed to land tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I believe, because I'm not even sure what day it is. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but it's coming soon. And I'm writing a lot of jokes, having so much fun writing jokes now, and just like excited to just get in front of people and yell at them. It's going to be hilarious. I think, I don't know, who cares? Um, so the other thing was Mindhunter I started watching. Whoa, bro. That one's a good show. I watched the first season. Don't really remember it, but I'm watching the second season now. I love the cinematography, the storytelling, the the way they created that show, the way they made it is so well done. I just love watching it for that. It's just so high quality. And I love the way they cut the different faces and 
it just seems so intricate and very um, dramatic, and I love that. So that one's fun to watch. Been watching more TV because I've just been has, had extra time on my hands, and I can't jump. So lastly, I'll end with my friggin' body, my skin. Um, by the way, that Life is So Fragile song is going to be a fucking hit, dude. We're going to be bumping to that. I've always wanted to make a song where it makes me want to dance, and this is the one. I've, I've, I've made a few that kind of does, but this is the one for sure. And I can just like, I love, I have different playlists in my, in my phone about like some that make me like hype and just want to like go hard, like run some that make me want to like move and dance when I'm in that mood. And sometimes some that make me like think and want to write more like expression, like J Cole type stuff. So that one's like, I was like, how do I make a song like that? And that, that beat came to me and I just tried it. It's so much fun. So yeah, when I was right, when I, I wrote some words to it yesterday, some lines yesterday, I was just like, should I make a video? I really wanted to get that video of 30 to 40. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. By the way, I'm just talking about how I think and how my process works because I think it's helpful. Okay. I don't know. Um, but when I'm thinking about these process things, like I sat down, I'm like, you know what? Let me just, I was, I played some music and I just get into this headspace and I go with that. So if I can be in touch with my energy and I just go with that energy, I'm in the best mood and I feel the best and I feel like I'm maximizing my day. If I ever like choose the wrong thing, like I went to the store, I didn't even need to or something like that. It happens sometimes. I'm like, ah, I wasted my time. I, I really despise that. So I, I'm trying to be super efficient, but I have extra time and I don't know what exactly what video to make. Should I do it like a funny comedy skit? Should I do this? So I'm trying to figure out my energy is going on. And when I have this extra time, it's really fun to try to build my awareness of who I am to really tune in. Because when I'm tuned into my energy and I'm flowing with it at the right degree, at the right time, and everything's going well, I feel like I'm fucking just fucking zooming through life and it feels amazing not like fast forwarding but like you just feel like you're hitting green lights that green light gang just gang 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 you just keep hitting green lights and everything's flowing perfectly i make better music i make better videos i make better energy like i'm doing right now see how much better this is going when i just go with it see it okay and so wrote the music and then i made the video and then i forgot what i was going to say completely and that's how it goes and i have no clue what's happening but enjoying it having a lot of time my hamstring that's what it was Feels like it's not healing, but I think my left one has a little bit of the same issue because I have two legs and one of them is just worse than the other. So the right one's a really bad one and I'm sitting on it right now and that hurts it. But it's slowly getting better, I think a tiny bit, but it's so tough. So I can't jump. I'm going to really lay off it one more week at least before I like change my mind about jumping a little bit. But I'm going to, I committed to two weeks because I can handle that. The storm's coming. Storm Dorian helped me relax a little bit because now it's like taking my mind off jumping. It's like I got to evacuate and, and survive a storm that just came out of the ocean. Um, so yes, I'm trying to, I'm doing isometrics. Um, I'm going to post about it probably this morning. I'll get that post out there about what I'm doing for my rehab, trying to stay bouncy. It's all about that flow. I don't, I'm, I'm really, so you guys know that are living the... Don't like it's working great. If you guys are living that, I'm going through that phase of like, I don't want to lose my bounce so badly, but I can't jump. So it's like, oh, I'm going to lose my bounce. But I got to remember, even if I come back a little bit lower, I'll gain it back. I got to think long term. And luckily, I've had success, even though my success is pretty slow because I haven't made progress in a long time. But I made some progress this year at the end of July with some of my highest jumps ever. And those are after long periods of rehab. So I have some success with that. But if you're going through rehab, take it slow know that you're going to, you got to learn. And the more you learn, the better you're going to make progress. So it feels like I'm, ma- I'm going backwards in my progress right now, but I'm really just thinking long-term and going temporary backwards. So temporary backwards for a giant leap forward, one step for mankind, one giant leap for dunk life minds. What? All right, let's do it. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Today was a great episode. <laughs> Super pumped. No, but literally I'm loving doing this every day. I don't know if I'm going to do this every day. I'm on friggin' 54. How many days do I do this? A hundred days. And maybe, maybe I commit to at least a hundred. If you guys love it, I'm going to do it every single day for the rest of my life. But I might transition to something else eventually, you know, on this day in history. Oh, baby, look what we got. September 2nd. We got a 31er, baby. BC. 31 BC. Battle of Actium. Decisive Navy battle, naval battle in 31 BC that effectively ends the Roman Republic. What? Wait, they're on the ocean? Octavian's forces defeat those under Mark Anthony and Cleopatra over the western coast of Greece? Huh? What the fuck? I don't even understand that. Um, 1949, the today in film, The Third Man, directed by Carol Reed, starring Joseph Cotton. By the way, I want to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Is that what it's called? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I got to see that soon, and I'll give you my full review. Today in music, 1931, Bling Crosby makes his solo radio debut. 1965 in sports, Cub slugger Ernie Banks hits his 400th career home run. Congrats, bro. Whatever. Life is so fragile, podcast. Dunk lifer of the day. Who are we? Yo, Niall... 
Glynan. That's a tough name, but he just killed it with this comment right here. He said, even the trees are skipping leg day, bruh. For real, dude. We got to stay building that foundation and not, e- not only in our two legs, but in our brains. So that way we can be stable and we have a little bit of mild psychosis. So that lets us use it to our advantage because if we don't have psychosis, we're just going to coast and be normal. But we don't want that. We want to be like, am I the fucking best person on the planet? Am I going to help the entire world change its shift on the axis? Yes, because if you don't think that, there's no chance. But if you think that and you go a little insane, at least you got a chance. So let's do it. All right, enjoy. And when I, like I said, if you click that notification bell for my video that's coming out later, another thing that will happen, well, you can see 47 yards further than you can see now. It's crazy, I know, but I'm, I'm working with YouTube as a partner and they said I can implement that feature. So try it out. I swear to God, you can't see a fucking bird on that branch right now. Click the button, look again. You can see what kind of feathers it's got. Incredible, right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Toodaloo. Young life. Oh. The anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.